Have you ever wondered what secrets the blue giant Neptune might be hiding in our solar system? Neptune, the eighth and farthest known planet from the Sun, is a mysterious world of wonder. Nestled in the outermost regions of our solar system, it is a celestial body that has captivated astronomers and space enthusiasts alike for centuries. Imagine, if you will, a world so distant that it takes sunlight four hours to reach its surface. It's a place where a year is not measured in mere days or months, but in a staggering 165 Earth years. That's how long it takes Neptune to complete a single orbit around the Sun. Now, let's talk about the size of this gargantuan planet. Neptune is about four times the diameter of Earth. To put it in perspective, you could fit 57 Earths inside Neptune. That's right, 57. Yet, despite its immense size, Neptune is the smallest of our solar system's four gas giants, sitting humbly next to its larger siblings, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. What sets Neptune apart, however, is its distinct blue appearance, a beautiful and ethereal hue that has earned it the nickname the Blue Giant. This captivating color is not just a pretty face, it carries significant scientific implications. The blue hue is due to the absorption of red light by methane in Neptune's atmosphere. This methane, along with traces of hydrogen and helium, gives Neptune its characteristic color, a stunning azure that stands out in the black canvas of space. But the mysteries of Neptune go beyond its mesmerizing color. Its winds are the fastest in the solar system, reaching speeds of more than 2,000 km per hour. And then there's the great dark spot, a storm comparable to Jupiter's great red spot, stirring up Neptune's blue atmosphere with its tempestuous winds. Beyond its stunning blue hue, Neptune's discovery itself is a tale worth telling. So buckle up as we dive deeper into the mysteries of this distant blue giant in the next part of our journey. Did you know Neptune wasn't discovered through a telescope like other planets, but through mathematical predictions? Indeed, the discovery of Neptune, the eighth and farthest known planet from the Sun in our solar system, is a remarkable tale of intellect and precision. The year was 1846, and the protagonists of our story were two mathematicians, Urbain Le Verrier and John Couch Adams. The duo didn't just stumble upon Neptune, they predicted its existence. But what led them to this prediction? Well, they were studying another distant planet, Uranus, and noticed that its orbit was not as it should be, according to the laws of physics. It was as if an unseen force was tugging at Uranus, causing it to deviate from its expected path. Le Verrier and Adams, working independently, used these irregularities to calculate where this unseen force might be coming from. They used the laws of gravity and the observed deviations in Uranus's orbit to predict the existence of an as-yet undiscovered planet. Their calculations pointed to a region of the night sky where no one had observed a planet before. This was a bold claim, and it required empirical evidence, so Le Verrier sent his predictions to the Berlin Observatory, where astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle pointed his telescope at the predicted coordinates. And lo and behold, there it was, Neptune, just where Le Verrier and Adams said it would be. The discovery of Neptune is a testament to the power of mathematics in understanding and exploring our universe. It's a story of how human intellect, armed with the tools of science, can reach out and touch the stars, or in this case, the distant blue giants of our solar system. It's a reminder that our understanding of space is not just about what we can see with our eyes, or even with our telescopes, but also about what we can deduce with our minds. Neptune, in its distant orbit, is not just a planet, but a testament to the power of the human intellect. The year 1989 marked a milestone in our understanding of Neptune, but how, you may ask? Well, let's journey back to that year, when our tiny spacecraft Voyager 2 embarked on a daring mission to the outermost edges of our solar system. Voyager 2 was not an ordinary spacecraft. It was the only one of its kind that has had the privilege to fly past Neptune, the enigmatic blue giant. The mission was filled with anticipation and uncertainty, as we ventured into the unknown, seeking to unravel Neptune's secrets. As Voyager 2 made its closest approach to Neptune, it unveiled a world far more intriguing and complex than we had ever imagined. 
It captured the first close-up images of Neptune's great dark spot, a massive storm that rivals Jupiter's great red spot in size and intensity. This storm, swirling with wild winds, was a spectacle that had never been seen before, painting a picture of Neptune as a dynamic and turbulent world. But Neptune's surprises didn't stop there. Voyager 2 also discovered a faint system of rings around Neptune, forever altering our perception of the planet. These rings, unlike Saturn's, are dark and irregular, comprised of tiny particles of ice and rock. Their existence was a testament to the complexity and diversity of our solar system. Perhaps one of the most profound discoveries of the mission was the confirmation of Neptune's strong magnetic field. This field, tilted and offset from the planet's center, suggested a complex internal structure, opening up new avenues for research and exploration. In the grand scheme of things, Voyager 2's mission was brief, yet, it transformed our understanding of Neptune in ways we could not have predicted. It showed us that Neptune was not just a distant, icy orb, but a world teeming with dynamic weather, complex rings, and a strong magnetic field. Voyager 2 left us with more questions than answers, but it was just the beginning of our journey of understanding Neptune. So, as we continue to peer into the depths of space, we carry with us the legacy of Voyager 2, a symbol of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. What recent discoveries have we made about this distant blue giant? In recent years, our knowledge of Neptune has grown in leaps and bounds, thanks to the efforts of astronomers and technologists alike. One of the most exciting findings is the discovery of new moons orbiting Neptune. In 2022, scientists identified a new moon, bringing Neptune's known moon count to 15. This tiny moon named Hippocamp is less than 20 miles in diameter and offers tantalizing clues about Neptune's history and the chaotic early days of our solar system. In addition to new moons, Neptune's ever-changing weather patterns have been a source of fascination. Using advanced telescopes and imaging technology, scientists have been able to observe massive storms on Neptune's surface, some even larger than Earth. These storms, characterized by high-speed winds and huge clouds of frozen methane, highlight the extreme conditions that exist on this distant planet. But perhaps the most intriguing findings relate to Neptune's internal structure. While we've known for some time that Neptune, like other gas giants, is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, recent studies suggest that this planet may have a much more complex and interesting internal makeup. The presence of a strange hot substance under Neptune's cold exterior has sparked theories about a possible diamond rain within the planet. Yes, you heard it right. Diamonds, created by the immense pressure and heat inside Neptune, might be raining down in its core. However, these findings also raise new questions. For instance, how do these newly discovered moons fit into our understanding of the solar system's formation? What drives Neptune's extreme weather conditions? And what can they tell us about weather on other planets? And most intriguingly, if there is indeed diamond rain inside Neptune, what other wonders might be hidden within this blue giant? Our understanding of Neptune continues to evolve, as does our curiosity about this distant world. We're eager to uncover more of Neptune's secrets, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the mysteries of our universe. So, what have we learned about the mysterious world of Neptune? Well, we've delved into the heart of the blue giant, unraveling its enigmatic nature. We've journeyed back in time to its discovery, a testament to the power of human observation and mathematical precision. This eighth and outermost planet in our solar system was not found by a telescope, but by the sharp minds who noticed the irregularities in Uranus's orbit and predicted Neptune's existence. We've also hopped aboard the Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to have ever visited Neptune. Voyager 2's flyby in the late 20th century gave us our first close-up view of this distant planet. It revealed Neptune's deep blue hue, a result of the methane in its atmosphere absorbing red light and reflecting back the blue. We saw its ferocious storms, with winds whipping around at speeds faster than any other planet in our solar system. We've touched on the latest findings about Neptune, 
our understanding of which is always evolving. Just a few years ago, scientists confirmed the existence of a new dark vortex, a massive storm, in Neptune's atmosphere. And there's ongoing research into Neptune's intriguing and complex system of rings and moons. But perhaps the most important thing we've learned is that Neptune is a world of ongoing mystery. Despite our advancements in technology and our growing understanding of the universe, there's so much we still don't know about this distant blue world. Each new discovery about Neptune only seems to raise more questions, making it an endless source of fascination and a compelling reason to continue our exploration of the universe. As we continue to gaze at the stars, Neptune reminds us of the vast mysteries the universe still holds, awaiting our discovery. The journey is far from over, and each step we take brings us closer to unraveling the secrets of our cosmic neighborhood. So let's keep looking, keep questioning, and keep discovering, because who knows what we might find next.